Hello. Whew, I took a nap. It's a good nap. And now I'm up. I've been up for maybe like 10 minutes. It's a very beautiful day outside, so I've been having my window open. I have all of my windows open, actually, except for... Um, oh, I have to put my... I have to put my laundry in my dryer back upstairs where I just was. Anyway, I need a coffee. I need to take my huggle off because I'm warm. I was cold when I was laying down. I don't even know what it is outside. Earlier this morning, I was like 44. Beautiful. 54. So it's still beautiful. Some people are like, oh my gosh, no, it's too cold. That's beautiful. Are you kidding? <sighs> That's peak fall. People who don't live here and who don't live anymore, I understand. Like I was in the, I had my hair done and these ladies were talking about how disgusting it was in the 60s for one weekend. It was 60 and overcast. Back when I got my hair done like two weeks ago. Wait, two weeks ago? A week ago? I don't know. Almost two weeks ago. They're like, oh yeah, this weather's gross. I wanted to go back to the high 70s and all this stuff. I'm like, you do realize the seasons are changing, right? It's gonna be fall. You can't have high 70s in fall in Michigan. No, you have to have 50s, mid 50s in fall in Michigan. I'm a Michigan girly who likes the fall. Which you would think everybody does, but not a lot. Like, I feel like everybody I run into, they always complain about like, winter and fall. It's like, you are in a place that has seasons. Why? Also, look what she did today. She finally got her butt around and hung these. And the beautiful, also the window reflection on the wall. Oh, but beautiful, beautiful. I never thought it was not still with flowers. Ugh. I was gonna film you, but I had the pictures on the floor. I was on the floor and I realized, oh, my camera's upstairs. So I didn't film it for you. Hang on, I'm, I'm roasting. My cousin got married yesterday, so I went to his wedding and it was very nice. Um, he looked great, I don't know. The bride looked beautiful. My brother was in the wedding, it was very cute. First time I've seen him in like, really forever. Mommy mug or ghosty mug? The thing about my ghosty mug that I don't necessarily love is like, look at him. He looks like an alien ghost, which I guess it's like pretty cool and like multi. I don't know. He looks like an alien ghost. This is alien face, is it not? Walgreens. And then we gotta put it by the dishes. And not wait until it's practically empty anyway. I'm running out of chocolate syrup, but I'm gonna have to go to the store tomorrow because I also am out of other stuff. It's also soup season, and I need to make soup. I have soup stuff for cheddar potato soup, but not stuff for my iconic vegetable soup so i know i've made it at least once since moving in here today has been a semi rest semi clean day i cleaned my bedroom which was in bad shape beautiful oh beautiful i obviously put these on the wall beautiful what else did i do i cleaned in my bathroom i did my laundry I did my dishes which just means putting them in the dishwasher. And I don't think I've watched any K-dramas, but not a win in the writing life department. We still have to do that. And I think I'm gonna do that tonight when I get back. I'm potentially going to my brother's house for dinner. So maybe I'll write after that, potentially, if we do that. All my photo cards. I realized, little stray kids moment, I need a Felix five star. Because I have a Chan five star, a Lino five star, a Changbin five star, a Hyunjin five star, a Han 5 star, no Felix 5 star, a Sungmin 5 star, and an Ion 5 star. Also looking at this, you would think my bias is Ion. Look how much more he is than everybody. And literally all of my Sungmins are baby Sungmins, except for the 5 star. So I need more Sungmin too. Sarah Cannon posted a new video, and we all know how I feel about Sarah Cannon's videos. Um, it's about world building, setting, and description in your novel, for October 2023. And for a girl who's like feeling so disconnected from her manuscript, um, I needed this. <laughs> I'm not feeling that disconnected. I'm just feeling disconnected to like the sort of excitement about writing right now, which we've talked about in depth before. I'm not going to go into it again. We're finding our passion again. Don't worry. However, I've been thinking about it and I think like NaNoWriMo time, Preptober time is the perfect time to be like 
going through struggling or should I say recovering from a struggle because this is the time everybody's posting like inspiring writing content and I'm just eating it all up in the hopes that I get excited again. See, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, guys, here we go. I feel like I'm not talking correctly about my feelings um, because feelings change, you know, things are constantly a change in, in somebody's life. But I feel like I, like how I said, <laughs> Like a second ago, I'm not having fun and writing. Whatever I said, I, I don't know what I said exactly. I don't remember what here. I, I barely listen to myself speak. Okay, so I don't know what I said exactly, but I said something about like how I felt like not excited about writing. That's why I was listening to Sarah Kane's video. I needed it. I think that's not true. <laughs> like I feel like I say things about how I'm feeling in the moment, and then I'm just like, no, but you weren't feeling that way yesterday when you were working on your novel. You know what I mean? Like maybe this moment I feel stuck. But you didn't feel stuck yesterday, Sarah. You wrote 500 words yesterday, Sarah. I need to get better at like what I'm speaking because A, sometimes it's not always 100% accurate in the terms of like, no, Sarah, yesterday you did do well. Today you're feeling crummy, but yesterday was good. And B, speaking into the universe, speaking negativity into the universe, it's never a good thing. Also, I don't know if I pronunciated that very well. Speaking negativity into the new, in the, Speaking negativity into the universe is never a good thing, you know? Never. Never. But I do it all the time. I do it all the time. I'll call myself stupid. I'll call myself dumb. I will speak negativity all the time. No wonder I'm an anxious girly, you know? No wonder. We're, we're gonna be better about speaking what we speak, you know? We're gonna be better about what we say. <laughs> Going back to what I was saying about, like, writing content, I feel like it's sort of the best times because I find, like, these sort of, like, videos, like Sarah Cannon's video about, like, world building, setting so, like, a description and stuff, so inspiring. And the fall season itself, so inspiring. So I'm like, I think this is the time that I need to just, like, Fight the world building. Oh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cringing so hard when I edit that back. Fight the world building, kick its booty. I'm just guessing, but I think I meant to say writer's block, cause I don't know why I'd be fighting world building. And get back on track, you know, I think this is my time. I think this is my time. Also, I, I found out something that I was, like I've been thinking about my manuscript for the past few days, like here and there, like what's going on. And I figured out something very fun in it that I actually hinted in fake dating the football player but i'm like i don't know how i'm gonna tie back in um so i'm so excited i'm so excited <laughs> Well, it's a good thing I'm not selling this copy because that's not cool. This is technically an author copy from Amazon too. Well, that sucks. But I finally have a version of Among the Bamboo without the banner, so. I love it. It looks so good. Also, weirdly enough, the thing with the bad boy looks larger than faked in the football player, but it's not. I don't know what I should do with this, though. Like, it's a proof. Can I just toss it? So, it is 519. I feel like today has just kind of flown by. I went to the store. I visited my parents. I took a nap already. It's been great. Um, things that still have to happen tonight. I have to take a shower and wash my hair. So today is a hair wash day, which is going to take a while to like do. I have to write a little bit tonight. I'm actually really excited to write because I'm in a good spot. Um, I've been at the same spot for about a week. 
now, but I am really excited about it still. <laughs> Want to start um, annotating fake digital ball players so I can do it as a giveaway like I did with Rebelling with the Bad Boy. I really, really, really do want to do that. So I might, this might be on the agenda tonight. I'm not totally sure. I really haven't had much downtime today. Like I haven't sat on the couch or watched TV at all today. I think just the time is just flying by. You know, it's weird. It works out. I probably should go to the gym today. I want to be healthier and that's how you be healthy. I've been listening to a lot of YouTube videos about how like how to restructure your life or how to re-implement a new routine or how to find your old self again. And I feel I'm pretty motivated listening to those. So, we're gonna get back to it. I'm about to get ready to do some client work well after I finish the coffee that's brewing because you know, it's just obviously coffee time. But I have to show you this, this photo card that I pulled today. If you are stay, you understand. Look at him, please. Client work tonight. This one's on my top tier, so it's probably gonna take me a while, but it's only 7.30 right now. I'm gonna drink my coffee and then get to work. I actually don't know how long it'll take me. Really? I don't know. For my top tier ones, I always kind of like do five hours, a lot five hours. Doesn't always take me that long. This doesn't look ratioed right. It kind of looks like foamy beer. It looks really gross to be honest. <laughs> But I said plenty of times that I'm actually the kind of person that likes to read in one sitting or, you know, like in one day. Just because I do get a lot of manuscripts and if it's in the same genre and if it's like in the remotely the same genre, my, it goes in and out of my brain. Back when I was trying to do it, like, read a little bit of one every day. Like, I remember I used to do like an hour on each project every day. I had to stop reading it because I had two sci-fi manuscripts and one fantasy that had sci-fi elements and I'm like which one had which spaceship again. I just prefer to be able to read it all in one sitting. Writing wise though, we did get I did get to go to Barnes & Noble for an hour this morning. I went to Barnes & Noble for an hour. I needed to go to get jeans. So I went and got jeans at 11 when the mall opened and then I had to get my nails done at noon, which you guys. I walked in and I'm like, listen girl, I don't know what I want. I want Halloween, but I couldn't tell you what. I had no time to do any research. Look what she... The little skeletons! How adorable. How adorable. She crushed it. I cannot be happier. Uh, the jeans that I wanted, they didn't have any of my size in store, which, annoying. So I have to order them online. Watching the last episode of Jinx at First, and this girl, she's had beautiful hair throughout the entire show, and it's obviously real her hair was. I don't know what happened, if she cut it mid-filming or what, but they gave her this god-awful wig. It deserves jail time. Look at this wig. Look at this wig. God-awful. Look at that wig. Oh my god, the hairline's not even... Look at that. Oh. Horrendous. Like I said, j jail time. I don't know, I don't know what happened. Because it was uh, beautiful hair and obviously real hair throughout the entire show. But now we have this? What is this? What? What is this? What is this? I can't imagine they didn't have some sort of budget to find her a better wig. Also, I have this in because I put my hair back to do my skincare and then I just never take it off. So like that's why I'm wearing it again because this is like the third time I filmed with it on and it's getting a little weird at this point. <laughs> I just had to update you about that because I am like going crazy. I'm like, what is this? At first, they, she had it like braided and I'm like, okay, that looks terrible, but now it's down. She must have dyed her hair, cut it. I don't know. Even if you cut it, you can do extensions or she must have dyed it. Oh my god. I wonder if they're gonna keep it this way for the rest of the episode because there's- Oh, there's only like 20 minutes left of the episode. No, I didn't realize. What the heck? Her hair looks real there. I don't know what it was about this show. Is it too harder? Especially the ending, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Not, not hitting it. But jinxed at first, adding it to two hour lists that I'm keeping track of on Instagram. And I'm also keeping track of my phone. We've watched so many. Jinx. 
next. And then I think Dustin with you finishes tomorrow. So that's another one we're going to be adding to our list. Do you think uh, Dustin with you is going to be the 99th K drama I've watched? And so we have to pick a good one for 100. What was 50? Dodo so so la la soul. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I remember watching that for the first time. Oh, that was so good. It was a four harder. It would have been a five harder if the ending hadn't done what it did. It did terrible things. So now that that's over, I'm actually gonna make me some breakfast. It's 10.30, so like, I don't know how breakfasty of this this is. I mean, I guess it's breakfast, it's not lunch. I need new hand towels. Life for me was not better in the summer, to be honest. I have a little bit of client work to do this afternoon. Anyway, client work tonight, or client work today, and then also client work tonight, so. Oh, I see somebody outside. I wonder if he can see me. Is he cute? Mm. Mm. Actually, I really can't tell. I can't tell if he's young or old, that's what I'm thinking. He looks young. I feel like I wanna to talk to you more, but I don't know what else to say. I think I've had a growth spurt. This feels very far. I honestly don't want to have a growth spurt because I'm already 5'5". Five five. Actually, am I 5'5 five five and a half or am I just 5'5"? Five five? But I'm at least 5'5". Five five. That's... That's a little tall. Changmin's only 5'6", so like we can't be any taller than 5'5". Five five. Cook, baby, cook. Cook, baby, cook, baby, cook. Do you want to turn? Cook, baby, cook. Cook, baby. <laughs> I don't think that man can see me. Hope not. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that pancake. This is boring. <laughs> I'm just wanting to talk to somebody. Let's do our max dents first. Okay. One, two. That is good. That's a good one. One, two, three. Oh! Oh my gosh, cute. I'm gonna flip this one in the middle because it's. I think it's double sided. One, two, three. Cute. Cute. That's a good I one. like it. Good like on there. You need more Changbin. Yeah. You did. Is that iron? I think so. That's hard. To, I, it almost looks it like Kanjin. It does look like Kanjin. One, two, three. I knew it. I saw, uh, I saw his jacket. I swear to God. I swear to God. Wow. I swear. He's following you. <laughs> Why did I pull him so many times? Okay. I swear, yeah, I, th I thought you had that one. I think I lost it.